Hi guys, welcome back to another layout update. Sorry it's been a while, I've just been super busy. Uh, in fact, I haven't actually found a whole lot of time to get up here and work on the layout, but I have made some progress and I'll show you some projects I'm working on and uh, let's get to it. So one of the things I've been working on since the last video was installing a tortoise uh, switch machine. Now, I haven't got it 100% hooked up yet, so I can't show you it in operation, but you can just see that it's it's mounted underneath the table, um, which does good for now. That way I don't have any trains splitting the switch or picking the point or whatever, but for right now, it's just kind of sitting there. I need to go and get the right type of toggle switch. I tried uh, a few different ways, which I'll show you in the next clip here. So one of the ways I tried to hook up the switch was using these Miniatronics push buttons. Um, but I'm not that great at wiring circuits, so I couldn't quite figure out how to hook up the uh, push buttons. The first time I hooked up the switch, I used an Atlas toggle. Um, it worked, but it only worked to throw one way. You couldn't throw it back. So hopefully next video... Um, you'll see that hooked up and I'll be using the proper uh, double pull, double throw, toggle switch because uh, that's what it calls for but uh, hopefully you guys will see that next time. So something I'm starting to work on is uh, uh, scratch building. Uh, this is going to be a little engine shop. It won't get rail service right now uh, it, but it will get rail service in the expansion. It will probably move. I've measured it out so it'll fit uh, one of the BLMA reefers, which is about the length of an engine, so if I wanted to put an engine in there, I could. I'll put a big overhead crane and whatnot in there, and that'll be a slow but steady progress because I'm not that great at that kind of stuff yet. So that's one of the buildings, and I'll pan to the next one. So here's another building I'm working on. This is for my ethanol plant, of course. Uh, this one is going to be, and already has proven to be quite a chore, just because of all the different angles and so on and so forth, because it's really kind of just packed into the small little confined area. So I've had to make quite a few little angles, and um, they're still only 45 degree angles, but because I'm not familiar with building or scratch building, it's going to be a, it's going to be a, quite a task for me. Here's just a bit of a bird's eye view. Uh, I can fit two 60-foot Gunnarsson box cars in there, and of course it'll get windows and bay doors for trucks and so on and so forth. It'll be properly structured. Like I said, these buildings are just mocked up for right now. So hopefully next layout update I'll have made some progress on these buildings. I'll be taking my time for sure as these are my first scratch built structures and I'll be watching a ton of videos of, those, uh, of that on YouTube. So I have made a little bit of progress on the station and that progress would be gluing the styrene to the little platform on the yard side of the tracks. You can see it's quite rough. That'll focus. It's quite rough the way it was glued, so on and so forth. But that's not much of a concern to me because I'll be puttying it over and sanding it down and repainting it and doing all the safety striping and so on and so forth. But next time you see the station, hopefully I'll have the other side of the platform done and a proper station because that is an end scale station. So you already may have noticed that I have done some more scenery. Uh, just a little easy sort of throw together scenery. Uh, nothing too special, just a few trees, bushes and some ground cover. I didn't go too crazy on the area because it's right in between tracks and basically what I'm going for is when they built the yard they clear cut the area and it's just left to grow. Um, and I've also done some scenery over here. That's my little maintenance of way sort of 
area where they discard ties and so forth. I made this little pile just out of balsa wood. Uh, I cut a bigger, probably about a half inch by half inch square uh, piece of balsa wood right down the middle and down the sides and cut it up till it was smaller. And obviously the cuts weren't perfect, which makes the pile look that much more realistic. Um, let's give you a close up here. And I just painted that with uh, black spray bomb, which did a surprisingly good job on that. And I have a few little rails there and some bushes. And uh, let's get on to the next part. So another thing I've done is I've rearranged the track again. Uh, there used to be two tracks in there, and they weren't very. They were very temporary. So just past this past weekend, I. Uh, tore up the tracks and I relayed them. I added a switch in there uh, and I fit. I managed to fit one more track in there so I can now store a lot more cars than I used to be. One track will just be for storing my VIA train for now and then I'll store some other engines that won't fit in the yard. But I'm gonna use this as kind of like a overflow yard or another yard in general really and it'll be kind of an SRY sort of thing where it's it's an older uh, older sort of yard so it's not it's kind of run down this won't stay like this this again is very temporary because later on a year or two for, uh, from now this will be a port where coal and intermodal gets delivered but I'm happy with that because now my yard looks a lot more empty and I can uh, move my trains around a lot easier in and out of the yard. So since last layout update, I've gone pretty crazy with making fences. I have that one little, that little uh, enclosed area there. That'll be for a uh, a radio tower. I've got some fences running in behind there. And I have a little fence there which isn't really in its place. And I made a huge fence all the way there uh, on the corner. I don't know what I'm going to do with that area yet. I'm thinking kind of like a little bit of a park, maybe. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do there yet. I made a big parking lot in there um, for the steel coil facility. I also did some fencing in behind there. And the biggest fence runs the length of the lumber yard you can see in there some more scenery I've done is in behind the church there uh, you can see I've purchased a few little two dollar cars from the hobby shop I made the parking lot there and where all that really green grass is I plan to put a little cemetery in there um, and that parking lot will eventually be full of those cars um, as if people are going to church and so forth but other than that that's basically the progress on the layout let's take a look at some of the uh, new things I've purchased so I've purchased some engines uh, the first one is this new Athern Genesis Union Pacific ST70 M flared radiator um, it's a very nice locomotive I will say it, uh, I've heard from a couple people that the color does seem a little bit off. Not so much on this unit, but definitely on the nose, the wings are kind of uh, faded. They're, the wings almost are baby blue, which seems a little bit weird to me, but hey, that's one last uh, step in weathering process of this engine to fade it down. So I'll be doing a review on that shortly, so stay tuned for that. Another unit I picked up was this Burlington Northern Santa Fe uh, War Bonnet SD75i. Again, a very nice unit. Uh, there's no real paint issues with this. Mind you, I don't really have any other engines of this color scheme, so I can't really compare it to anything else. But this engine I really like. It's, it looks great running with the modern 
Burlington Northern engines um, and I'll be also doing a review of that and then my favorite locomotives that I picked up are these new SD70s uh, these are the X Illinois Central repaints I got number 1012 and 1008 so those will run in a pair most of the time they look, they're great engines great amount of detail and again we'll be doing a review of those shortly well guys that pretty much wraps up this layout update I hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to comment like subscribe and thanks for watching